I just now seeing the news that the PGA Tour and Live Tour are merging. This has to be a joke. There's no way this is real. Wow. Uh, okay. Today we have a interesting video to say the least. Today I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm actually recording a bunch of stuff for a tour vlog. Mid-round, mid-pro-am today. Today's pro-am day, so I was able to record a bunch of stuff. But mid-round, one of the guys I'm playing with, Jim, tells me, dude, I just saw a tweet. Live and the PGA Tour are emerging. And I said, are you sure you're not like reading a troll account right now? And he says, no, it's CNBC. And I'm still like, no, it's not. That's not true. You're you're wrong. You're incorrect. There, there's no way this is happening right now. And I get on Twitter. Actually, I don't get on Twitter because I don't have Twitter downloaded. I start downloading Twitter. In the meantime, I get on Instagram and I see Golf Digest has posted twice about it. See all these tweets from PGA Tour players. See the announcement from CNBC. This is real. Like the PGA Tour and the Live Tour are merging. And I got my initial reaction to it on the golf course. I got a couple other pros initial reaction to it on the golf course. And uh, and then I was there for like, you know, four or five hours afterwards, practicing, finishing up my round, talking to some guys about it. And I've got a pretty good idea of how I'm feeling and it's some of my time to talk to some other pros and see what the general sentiment is around the world of pro golf. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Let's get into this uh, practice round pro-am vlog, which has become something pretty interesting. <laughs> So I just hit my tee shot on 10 at this Pro-Am here in hard scrabble. I just now seeing the news that the PGA Tour and Live Tour are merging. This has to be a joke. There's no way this is real. There's simply no way this is real. After everything that's happened over the last year, they're merging. It's not real. There's no way it's real. Simply no way. This doesn't make a, a lick of sense. That might be in the hole. There's no way, dude. Oh, sorry. There's no way. There's no way. I, I'm seeing tweets from all the PGA Tour players. I'm seeing posts, multiple posts from Golf Digest. CNBC posted it. I, dude, this might be freaking real. This might be real. This will probably be our, the hardest moment. Have you heard the news yet? Uh-uh. Oh, the live golf? Yes. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. What's your reaction to it? Um, I honestly don't have much of an opinion, but I think it's probably good. Good for the game of golf. I'm, I'm just blown away right now. Really? Yeah. I mean, I thought it was going to happen. Did you not think it was going to happen? No, but I'm glad to get your perspective because I, I thought there was no chance. Really? Yeah. What hole are you on? How many holes have you played? Nine. That's You're on your ninth hole. hole. We've been out here for three and a half, three and a half hours. Let's go. Rory McIlroy got to be crying and throwing up right now. It's the worst day of his life. I know. It's the worst day of his life. After all he's done. Jay Monahan, tough day for him, man. That is, that is unfortunate. After everything he said about the Live Tour, having to bow down and kiss the ring, that is not something you want to have. Uh, it's not something you want to have happen to you. And then another question I have, what's gonna happen to all these spots that they've been doling out to Corn Ferry Tour players now? They upped the Corn Ferry Tour from top 25 to top 30. Next year at Q School, uh, I think five guys are getting PGA Tour cards right out of Q School, so there's 10 cards right there. Now we got 20 guys coming back from the Live Tour to the PGA Tour. I mean, I don't understand how any of this works. I don't know if they're gonna actually get their cards back or what, but if they're merging, a lot of these starts are going away. And a lot of guys who are kind of on the fringes of the PGA Tour are probably waking up to some bad news right now. I guess my overall reaction would be I'm just really surprised. I did not see this coming. I think uh, I think a lot of people did not see this coming, especially after everything Roy McIlroy and Jay Monahan and Brandel Chambly have said about the Live Tour. I'm just really surprised they would all join up. I think great for the Live Tour. I think great for DP World Tour, and honestly, great for the PGA Tour in the long run. I think this is going to be an overall net positive. I think we all thought the same thing. We saw Brooks dominate the PGA. I just wish we could see him play more against the best players in the world in the PGA Tour. And now in theory, we should be able to see that, which is, uh, which is good. I'm just surprised, man. Really, really surprised. Yay. You wanna give your opinion as a casual fan on the Live Tour merging with the PGA Tour? My concern is, is that we've been talking about legacies and things like that and that sh this sure does fly in the face of of, of legacy right well i want I, I wonder because if they're merging i imagine they get all the legacy of the pga tour and then the money of the live tour right yeah and the great players of both yeah. 
I don't think it's bad for the. I don't think it's bad for golf. I think it's just it's just surprising. I agree. I mean, I think for the consumer of golf, the amateur player that watches a lot of golf, yeah, it gets all the people back together again. So, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I like that piece of it, but yeah, I did. I, I kind of like that there was a a bit of an exclusivity with the PGA Tour and you know them not earning their way onto the tours and building up their resumes. I have no idea what the terms of the agreement are, but I would imagine that hasn't changed. PGA Tour still requires you to earn your way on the PGA Tour. And as long as that doesn't change, I, I don't think there's gonna be any negative effect to golf as a whole. I think it's just, I'm just surprised. <laughs> I'm just really surprised. Jim was telling me, he saw it on Twitter, that Live, Live Tour and PGA Tour merged up. And I, I said to him, that's bullshit. You need to check your source. There's no way. And you said CNBC, and I still thought that's a prank. Yeah. There's no way this is real. I agree. And here we are. Jim speaks the truth. Jim speaks the truth. I do apologize. My text group does not lie. I, I do. I apologize, Jim. I, I, I am sorry. I didn't believe it either. I was like, there's no freaking way. But then I said, I seen CNBC, and I thought, well, let me ask you, because you would know more than all of us probably. You would probably get a text or something from somebody. So I, I used to be a member of PJ Tour Canada. Mm -hmm. I got an email like a month ago letting me know that the PGA Tour Canada app was changing its colors from blue to red. But PGA Tour doesn't tell their players that they're having this discussion of merging with the DP World Tour and the Live Tour? I can't, I What's can't going wait. on with comms, guys? The US, Open, the US Open press conferences are going to be electric. That's for sure. Oh, what can we do here, Dan? <laughs> pretty tight. Um, all the golfers that didn't earn their way onto the PGA Tour now playing on the Live Tour, what happens with them? You know, like James Pyatt, I'm sure he's a great guy. He did not earn his way onto the PGA Tour. Does he just get PGA Tour status now because he signed with Live? I don't think that's right, if so, but I. Again, we don't know any of the details. This is all just speculation right now. Right now it is 7.07 .07 p.m. Tuesday, June 6th. And I'm just about to put this video out, but I really wanted to get kind of my final reaction for the day. I've had a little bit of time to think about it, talk to a bunch of guys at the tournament. I wanted to get this into the video before I threw it up. And it really seems like the overall sentiment is just surprised, like shocked that, that this happened. There are a couple guys who say they saw it coming, and I guess hindsight is 2020, right? When you really take a look at it and you say, was this eventually going to happen? Well, now that I've seen that it has happened, it's obvious, yes, it was going to happen. I mean, the, the world of professional golf couldn't remain fractured forever. The best players in the world were eventually going to play with the best players in the world again. It wasn't gonna remain forever that half the best players in the world are on live, half the best players in the world are on PGA Tour. That just wasn't gonna be the case forever. And now that the merger has officially been announced and it's, a, it's real, it makes a lot of sense. From a golf perspective, I think it's gonna be great. I think we're finally getting all the best players in the world back together. And that's something that I have desperately wanted for a long time. I want to see Brooks Kepka. I want to see Cam Smith. I want to see all the best players in the world playing against the best players in the world. So from that perspective, from a fan's perspective, from a golf you know, as a whole perspective, it's great. Obviously, there's a ton of money going in there now, which is awesome also. Like, there's going to be so much more money now in professional golf and the sport of golf is only gonna continue to grow at a very, very rapid pace now that, the, now that the game isn't fractured. Now, we just mentioned the money. There's a ton of money going into the PGA Tour now. Where's that money coming from? It's not great. Jay Monahan himself said, the people who orchestrated 9-11, the people responsible for the 9-11 attacks, are the people behind the PIF, behind Liv. For him to have said that publicly, to go up against Liv and say, these are the people who are responsible for 9-11, I can't believe I can't believe the audacity of these people to go and play golf for them. That is, he basically just said that they were morally bankrupt. And now after saying all of that publicly, the commissioner of the PGA Tour decides he is going to now join with the, with Liv. And it, and morally, like, I don't want to act, act like I have any, you know, moral high ground. I use Uber. I'm sure there are a million products I use every day that the Saudi Public Investment Fund is invested in. That's not really what I'm saying. What I am saying, what I'm morally, like, what I think is disappointing about this is you kind of expected the guys that went to live are kind of the bad guys. The guys that stayed on the PGA Tour are the good guys. And you expect the good guys, they didn't take the money, stayed on the PGA Tour, they took the hit initially in hopes that eventually it was going to pay off in the long run. 
and you think that the live guys, right, the guys who took the money, the guys who went to play for the bad guys, they cash in immediately, but oh, they're not marketable anymore, right? They can't play golf on the PGA Tour. They have basically like ruined their careers. Well, it turns out you can take the money and not ruin your career and end up playing on the PGA Tour again with the best players in the world. And I think that's just one of those, it's one of these like kind of wake up call moments for a lot of people where you realize like the good guys don't always get what's right. The way it was portrayed in the media, the guys that go to live are the bad guys and they're gonna end up making out like bandits here. Golf, great. Morally speaking, I don't know. It's just all confusing. I can't wait to see where this goes. Again, like I said, it's, it's June 6, 7, 12 p.m. I don't know what's gonna happen after this. Anything could happen, quite literally. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it. I'm sure all you guys will. And I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to my thoughts on this whole situation. And of course, guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment for the kind of stuff you'd like to see next. Leave a comment if you like this kind of current event reaction style content, I guess. I haven't really ever done anything like this before. This is a very quick turnaround for me. It's not often I record video and then post it on YouTube the same day, but this is a monumentous occasion. This is easily the biggest news in the world of golf since I have been born. the It's unprecedented, for lack of a better word. It's just absolutely bizarre. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.